Doesn't being in a crowd just suck? Catching the subway, getting in line at the airport, unexpectedly finding yourself in the mosh pit at a heavy metal gig. Hey, we've all been there. But while those moments were likely among the least pleasant of our lives, at least we had somewhere you could escape to after. Not everyone is so lucky. Some of our fellow humans are stuck living in cities that are like Black Friday at the Magic Unicorn store all year round, doesn't being in a crowd just... Eight. Abuja, Nigeria. The story of Abuja is more than a little ironic. Designed from scratch in the 1970s as a roomy getaway from overcrowded, chaotic Lagos, the new Nigerian capital ultimately ended up going the way of its predecessor. Six million people were sucked into a small strip of land designed for far, far fewer residents. The inevitable result? A Euro-American-style city of sweeping boulevards, towering skyscrapers and expansive mansions, ringed by some of the most horrendous slums on the continent. It's those slums that make Abuja's ranking here. While the city proper is relatively prosperous and spacious, bar the chronic traffic jams that affect the whole of Nigeria, the capital's larger metro area is a brutal, stinking place where people are forced to live right on top of one another in substandard housing. Perhaps it's no wonder one Abuja expat blog has called the city the glossy veneer the nation has haphazardly tried to use to cover its wounds. The story of Abuja is more than a little ironic. Designed from scratch in the 1970s as a roomy getaway from over... Seven. Kota, India. Not far from the capital of Rajasthan, Jaipur, sits India's second most crowded city, yep, we've got at least one more to go. Kota is way off the tourist trail, for good reason. It's a sprawling, industrial city that stretches along the river Chambal, and its major commodities are heavy industry and the sort of grittiness usually associated with Raymond Chandler novels. Population-wise, it's surprisingly small, by Indian standards. A mere one million souls call the city home, yet the sheer amount of space given over to industrial architecture means that those who do live here are tightly crammed together. 7. Code up, India. Not <laughs> 6. Lagos, Nigeria. We're back in Nigeria. With 182 million citizens, the West African nation is by far the most populous on the continent. And by far its most populous city is the insane megalopolis of Lagos. A sprawling, creaking, groaning, whirling mass of people, cars, skyscrapers, slums, mosques, temples, madness and garbage, Lagos is like your average country dweller's nightmare vision of a city on steroids. The streets are gridlocked 24-7, both on the road and the sidewalk. There are rolling blackouts that last for days. Apartment blocks are so overcrowded that up to 50 people can share a single toilet and sink. We don't want to pass judgment here, but when you've got 50 people fighting to take a dump, you've got serious overcrowding problems. Then there's the climb. Lagos is so crime-ridden it makes Gotham City look like the winner of Denmark's safest suburb. A U.S. government report for 2017 said the dire economic conditions of most residents had led to a spate of armed muggings, assaults, burglaries, carjackings, rapes, kidnappings, and extortion aimed at foreigners, plus a staggering number of home invasions, even when that home was surrounded by guards. While all of the cities on our list have problems, we're willing to bet no others have them quite so acute as Lagos. We're back in Nigeria. With 182 million citizens, the West African nation is by far the most populous on the continent. And by far its most populous city is the insane megalopolis of Lagos. 6. Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> Thank you.
5. Casablanca, Morocco. Known as the White City, Casablanca appears from afar like a glimmering jewel, a sculpture made of marble. Then you get closer and the whole illusion gives way to a writhing, pulsing, frenetic mass of life scrabbling to cling onto the edges of Morocco's craziest port. Nearly 7 million people live here, in a mass of traffic congestion and pollution so bad that, by one count, it may be the sixth most polluted city in the world. Forget Humphrey Bogart telling Ingrid Bergman here's looking at you, kid. In modern Casablanca, he likely wouldn't be able to see her for all the smog. Yet Casablanca is a city on the up. After decades of being overlooked as the dirty, ugly sister of Morocco's big cities, the famous port has reinvented itself as a 21st century Cinderella, by which we mean it's now a booming tech capital. The city has even introduced a new smart traffic system to try and combat the mind-numbing con- Four, Manila, Philippines. If you count just the city proper, that is not the extended metro area, Manila is the most overcrowded city on earth. Even if you do as we're doing, and measure the whole mess, it still comes in at fourth. 12.49 million people are squeezed into this super high-rise, super compact city, with another 8 million in the urban conglomeration surrounding it. Grinding poverty exists alongside unfeasible wealth, and it shows in all the worst possible ways. The tales of overcrowding in Manila can tell sound like something from an earnest, 1970s sci-fi novel. People with decent, middle-class jobs live in tiny shacks under bridges, inches from railway lines. 4. Manila, Philippines. If you count just the city proper, that is not the extended metro. Medellin, Colombia. The only entry on our list that's neither in Asia or Africa, Medellin is Colombia's second largest city, an erstwhile home of notorious Tusha bag Pablo Escobar. But while Medellin's 3.7 million residents are far short of capital Bogota's 9.8 million citizens, Medellin is much more compact. Where Bogota sprawls for miles and miles in every direction, Medellin likes to keep its residents close. Interestingly, visit them both and Medellin actually feels less crowded than Bogota. While any trip to Bogota is likely to leave you with memories of interminable traffic jams, streets thick with bodies, and a transport system that resolutely refuses to function, a trip to Medellin will probably leave you marveling at how comparatively orderly it is. Unlike its big brother, the city has a functioning metro system, is kept clean and tidy, and ticks over in a normal way. It also has much better weather, a fact completely unrelated to our topic of overcrowding. The only entry on our list that's neither in Asia or Africa, Medellin is Colombia's second largest city. 3. Medellin Two, Mumbai, India. Now we get onto the really, really crowded cities. Mumbai's larger metro area has a population of 20.7 million, as much as Greater Manila and Greater Detroit combined. Only in a much, much smaller area. No prizes for guessing how that has turned out. Mumbai is so jam-packed with heaving human flesh that it makes ultra dense Manila feel like the remotest Alaska. To give just a hint of the levels of crowding on display, figures released in 2014 found that nearly 800 people a year die after falling from Mumbai's trains. The reason they fall? The carriages are so full that they get physically pushed out the open doors. What else? Well, there's the time that the state government decided to ease overcrowding by building a whole new city, Navi Mumbai, to house new arrivals. Navi Mumbai filled up so fast that, within 20 years, the government was forced to start building a second overflow city to cope with it all. 
There's also the crippling traffic jam. A short drive from the center to the airport routinely takes upwards of two hours. The government is worried that if things continue they soon won't be able to provide sanitation, jobs or even food for everyone. <laughs>